Hello everyone, this is Bian's Chameleons and today we will be talking about how to set up a Chameleons cage. Now as you can see in the background, we got the Chameleons cage and our Chameleons cage is right here but we will get to that soon. So first you're going to want to see what kind of Chameleon you have. If it's a Veiled Chameleon, you're going to want a pretty big cage. Um, we have Veiled Chameleons and actually we might have to get a bigger cage pretty soon. Um, so for like panther chameleons, same size, they're just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Um, but how to set up a chameleon's cage? Once you find out what size you actually need for your chameleon, let's get started. So, you're going to want to have a ton of, so for a substrate, you're going to want to have, um, either a bare bottom or isopods. If you don't know what that is, it's like soil for plants. Um, currently, me and my dad are using this product, Loose Coconut Fiber Substrate. In our opinion, we surely recommend you guys use it. It's a, it works fine, just fine. Very good. And as you might not, I don't think it's in the camera, but we have a ton of silk, moth, cocoons in here. Um, gonna, they're gonna hatch soon. Um, that's for another video. You will see it. And, yeah, you're gonna want either the substrate I just showed you or isopods or not even a bottom. If you go with um, no substrate, just the floor itself, um, put potted plants at the bottom. Well, obviously you still have to do the same with any substrated chameleon cage. Um, for plants, you might want Jacino lemon limes. They're pretty good. Um, you're also gonna really want golden poth the golden pothos. It's actually a very good plant for them. It's, it's nutritional for them if they eat it, and it's not plastic. Um, actually, we have some plastic plastic plants in our cages, but they don't seem to mind it because we got them covered in what these leaves are, and I will tell you what they are. So, actually, we do not know the name of the bush, of the tree. Um, there's a tree we have outside. We cut down um, branches and put them in the chameleon's cage. If you have any trees outside your house, um... If you know what it's called, um, search up if it's healthy for a chameleon. If it is, um, be sure to just cut a little leaves down, a couple of branches down if it's no problem and you don't mind it. And then you can stick them in your chameleon's cage and they'll be happy. But always remember, shake the leaves before you put them in the chameleon's cage because you do not want but new bugs being in the cage. And it may seem weird to say they do not want bugs in your chameleon's cage, but you do not know if they've been in anything bad, like dog poo. Um, so getting into climbing areas. Oh, Grumpy Joe's climbing his branch. Um, so for vines, you're going to want, like I said, cutting a tree down. Those could work as vines, the branches. Um, you could always buy um, commercial branches from Petco and PetSmart. They work just fine. But one thing I do not recommend is mossy vines. Um, they are, they may look very cool, like you might want to put them in the junk, to put them in your chameleon's cage to make it look like a jungle. But really, um, when water gets on it, it, it could grow germs and then the chameleons will think it's edible and they end up eating it before. And before, um, we actually had a lot of those in the chameleon's cage and Skinny Vinny kept on eating them, but nothing bad happened. So, um, we got lucky, I guess. Um, so starting off, oh my god, Grumpy Joe, what are you doing? So for, yeah, that's pretty much it for vines. And for the top, um, for, what, what's it called again? UVB bulbs. You're gonna want, um, a T5 linear high output UVB. It's long, you can pick out whatever size you want. And actually, my dad and I are getting another one today, so the chameleons do not have to be sharing them. And we do have the dome LED lights, let me show you. And let's get back to my normal position. Okay, so done with that. For misters, you could always use um pumps, um like mister. Like reptile misters, um, Pekka and Pesmar always have them. They're just fine, but if you want um, actual mister, which you can put on a timer, you can always buy timers from like Target for like three bucks and connect them to your mister. But the mister that we have currently is 
We do have a review on it. Be sure to check it out if you want. And so that might be it for this video, man. Um, and did I forget anything to mention? I don't think so. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be making more chameleon videos tomorrow. And see you next time. Bye.